Hey guys, welcome back to my channel that is still a learner. In this video, we are going to discuss class 5 environmental science chapter 11. The name of the topic is earth to space. Okay guys, let's get into the video. So, first of all, we have given grocery which is nothing but synonyms or meanings. Okay, so these are all the meanings from this chapter. Okay. So, first one is axis which means real or imaginary straight lines going through the center of the object. Second one, north pole which means the northernmost point on the earth. Third one, south pole which means the southernmost point on the earth. Next, latitude means imaginary lines drawn straightly on the earth. Okay, like this, these are all the meanings. Okay, we cover every answer of this chapter. Okay, so worksheet number one here in the first Roman, we have given, rewrite the following words. Whatever the words are given here means five words. You have to read, write again. So start with the capital letter. Okay, like this, you have to rewrite the same word again in the given blank. Okay, so first one is conversation. Next playground, third, sailor, fourth one, Portuguese and fifth one is Ferdinand Magellan. So, just correct here, here N, A, N, D and in the Magellan, N is the last word, means last letter. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next one, means second one. Here, join the dots and color the pictures. Here, some figures are given, you have to join each dot okay so that it make a perfect picture after that you have to color this picture guys okay let's move on to the next worksheet that is worksheet number two here also you have to rewrite the following words observe center flat and fourth one is peace you have to write it down the same by placing the first letter capital letter okay guys Let's move on to the second one. Here also, join the dots and make a pot and color it. Here, pot is given in the form of dots. So, you have to join all the dots so that it make a pot. After that, you need to color that pot. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Which are questions here? Okay. Three questions are given. We need to answer. So, let's see the second one which is, How do you say that earth appears flat? Answer is, Walking over the surface of the earth feels like we are walking on a flat surface. Hence, earth appeared flat. Okay, let's see the next question that is third question. Which is, how can you say that the earth is round? Answer, Portuguese sailor Ferdinand Magellan sailed with his team to round the world. Surprisingly, they reached back to the place where they started. It shows that earth is round. Okay, guys, let's move on to the fourth question, which is, Cut a color paper in the shape of a pot and paste it in the given space. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to take any color paper and you have to, first of all, draw the shape of the pot on that paper and cut it and paste it here. Okay, this is absolutely a student's activity okay so let's move on to the next worksheet that is worksheet number three here also in the first roman you have to rewrite the following words means here also some words are given means five words are given you need to rewrite that words again so first one is globe okay next model next location fourth one is space and fifth one is explain Okay, these are the words given and make sure that the starting of each word should be a capital letter. Okay, let's move on to the second question which is color the picture. Here one picture of globe is given. You have to color it. Okay guys, so this have to done by yourself. Let's move on to the next question which is what is the model of earth? Answer is globe. Third question. Why do we use globe as a model of the earth? Answer is we can see the correct shape, size and location of the continents and oceans on a globe. Okay. Fourth one is identify India on a globe. So 
this one you have to do it by yourself so globe figure is given above you have to locate where india is okay this is what you have to do that's why i have written student activity okay let's move on to the next topic that is worksheet number 4 here also in the first roman we have given four words we have to rewrite the following words first one longitudes second one latitudes third one imaginary line fourth one prime meridian okay let's move on to the second question which is how can we draw imaginary lines on a globe and so vertically and horizontally second question what are latitudes and so the imaginary lines drawn on a globe horizontally are called latitudes third question what are longitudes and so the imaginary lines drawn on a globe vertically are called longitudes okay next fourth question is what is equator and so the latitude that divides the globe into two equal parts is called equator next fifth question define the prime meridian and so the longitude divides the globe into two equal parts is called prime meridian okay guys let's move on to the next question that is sixth question so here you go so draw the latitudes longitudes and equator on the given circle here one circle is given you need to draw the latitudes and longitudes and also equator on this given circle okay this is what you have to do that's why this is a student activity okay draw it by yourself make sure you should draw correctly next worksheet number 5 here also some words are given let's see you have to rewrite those words again first one is straight lines second one parallel lines third one clock fourth one imagine fifth one america sixth one japan next seventh one england and the last word is australia okay guys let's move on to the second question which is here this clock is given okay you need to draw the picture same as it is in the given box provided for you okay you have provided one space that is box you need to draw this clock as it is okay so let's move on to the next worksheet i mean the next rover which are question and answers so first question is what you can see in the picture answer a clock second question what time does the clock in the picture shows its answer is 10 10 here i didn't write any am or pm because it doesn't mention in that clock whether it is morning time or else evening time that's why i have written only what we can see means 10 10 let's move on to the third question which is now identify the times in different countries in the clocks and write in the given space here six figures are given of clocks and each clock shows different time so first one is done for you okay which is san francisco here the time showing is 9:43 okay next new york time is 12:43 next london 5:43 next mumbai 10:13 next tokyo 1:43 and the last one is sydney which is 2:43 okay let's move on to the next worksheet that is worksheet number 6 concept is rotation and revolution so in the first roman we have given some words we need to rewrite the same words again in the blanks first one is spinning up next rotation third one day and night fourth one revolution fifth one season sixth one is constellation okay next move on to the second question which is join the dots of a spinning top here the figure is given in the form of dots which is a spinning top 
okay now what you have to do you have to join all the dots so that it makes a figure which is spinning top and you have to color it also okay let's see the next roman which is question and answers the very first question is what are the two movements of earth answer rotation and revolution second question what is earth's rotation answer movement of the earth on its own axis is called rotation third question is how much time does the earth takes to complete one rotation answer it takes 24 hours fourth question is what causes day and night answer earth's rotation okay guys and make sure that you should end up the answer by putting a full stop okay this is a must and should okay let's move on to the next question which is what is the difference between rotation and revolution answer is here are the box which is rotation and revolution where you have three points here rotation first point is movement of the earth on its own axis revolution first point is movement of the earth around the sun rotation second point is takes 24 hours revolution second point is takes 365 days rotation third point is day and night are formed revolution third point is seasons or form okay this is the answer where you are going where you are showing the difference between the rotation and revolution okay let's move on to the next uh, roman that is roman number 2 here match the following you have to do okay first one is globe the answer of globe is c replica of the earth next second one earth revolu earth's revolution which is d seasons next earth's rotation which is a day and night next constellations b stars next imaginary lines e latitudes the answers are c d a b e okay next move on to the next worksheet that is worksheet number 7 here also some words are given okay 10 words are given you have to rewrite each word so let's see first word is stars next sun third one planets fourth one satellite fifth one astronomy sixth one telescope seventh one solar system eighth one is orbit ninth one is asteroids and tenth one is comets okay just be careful while writing don't miss any letter in each word okay or else it will be wrongly spelt okay okay guys let's move to the second question which is so observe the picture and write the answers here one picture is given which is a solar system okay you need to answer the given blanks below okay first one is name the planet nearer to the sun answer is mercury second question the planet farthest to the sun is neptune third one the biggest planet is jupiter fourth one earth is the dash planet to the sun third planet to the sun you can write it down third or t h i r d okay let's see the next one here here match the following is given you need to match it correctly first one is planet nearest to the sun is e mercury next equator d parallel imaginary lines next earth's rotation answer is a 24 hours next prime meridian f the lines drawn north to south o degree longitudes next fifth one is earth's revolution c 365 days answers are e d a f c okay let's move on to the third question which is which is natural satellite of the earth answer is moon fourth question how many planets are there in the solar system what are they answer there are eight planets they are mercury venus 
अर्थ मार्स जुपिटर सैटर्न यूरेनस एंड नेपट्यून ओके बिफोर दे वर नाइन प्लैनेट्स प्लूटो इज रिमूव सो ओनली एट वर दे एट इज दे ओके नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन ड्रॉ द सोलार सिस्टम हियर यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द सोलार सिस्टम इन द बॉक्स प्रोवाइडेड ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वर्कशीट दैट इज वर्कशीट नंबर एट हियर ऑल्सो यू हैव टू री राइट द फॉलोइंग वर्ड्स सो लेट्स सी ईच वर्ड फर्स्ट वन इज आर्टिफिशियल सेकेंड वन लून और ऑर्बिट थर्ड वन प्रज्ञान फोर्थ वन मिशन फिफ्थ वन लैंडो सिक्स वन चंद्रयान सेवेंथ वन कंप्रेस एथ वन रोवर नाइन्थ वन ब्रॉडकास्टिंग ओके दीज आर द नाइन वर्ड्स यू नीड टू री राइट अगेन बाय पुटिंग कैपिटल लेटर्स इन द स्टार्टिंग ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द सेकेंड वन विच इज मैच द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट फिगर विच इज जी एस एल वी मार्क थ्री नेक्स्ट सेकेंड फिगर इज विक्रम लैंडर थर्ड वन इज द प्रग थर्ड वन इज द लूनॉर ऑर्बिटर फोर्थ वन इज द प्रज्ञान ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट रोमन विच इज चूज द करेक्ट आंसर्स फर्स्ट वन इज द अर्थ इज बिटवीन टू प्लैनेट्स आंसर इज बी वीनस एंड मार्स सेकेंड क्वेश्चन द फॉर्टेस्ट प्लैनेट ऑफ फ्रॉम द सन इज डैश आंसर इज डी नेपटोन थर्ड वन द अर्थ रिवॉल्व अराउंड द डैश सी सन फोर्थ वन अर्थ रोटेशन कॉजस डैश आंसर इज ए विच इज डे एंड नाइट नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ वन नैचुरल सैटेलाइट टू द प्लैनेट अर्थ इज B moon. Sixth one. Time taken by the Earth from for one rotation is twelve hours. Seventh one. The first Indian astronaut who went to space was B. Rakesh Sharma. Next eighth one. Moon is not seen on a new moon day because sunlight does not fall on it. Ninth one. A celestial body that moves around the sun in an orbit is dash. which is b that is planet okay guys let's move on to the next one which is the tenth one so how many times does the earth rotate on its axis in one day answer is b once okay these are all the choose the correct answers of this chapter okay let's move on to the next worksheet that is worksheet number 9 here questions are given we need to answer each and every question okay so just see the answers so the very first question is write the differences between latitudes and lo longitudes answer is okay just read this box and write it down wherever you want okay each latitude and longitude have four points okay just write it down very carefully first one we have covered what we call latitude and what we call la longitude okay next like that just write it on all the four points we'll see the next two question which is so write about the globe answer is a globe is a simple and accurate model of the earth it shows the distribution of land and water on the surface of the earth we can also see the correct shape size and location of the continents and oceans on a globe okay guys let's move on to the third question which is what is the shape of the earth answer is in ancient times people believed that the earth was flat and has steep edges then ferdinand magellan a portuguese explorer or sailor around the world and prove that the earth is round pictures taken from space have also proved that the earth is like a sphere okay guys have you got it please write it down without any mistake okay let's move on to the next one which is fourth one if the earth stops its rotation what will happen answer is first part day and nights may not be formed second one all the bodies all the bodies like rocks top soil trees buildings would be swept away into the atmosphere allah rahm kare so 
let's move on to the next question that is fifth question which is make a model of the solar system using balls of different size to represent the planet so this one you have to do that's why i have written students activity so let's move on to the sixth question collect the information about artificial satellites sent by india and their purpose write a brief note first point an artificial sa satellite is an object that people have made and launches into orbit using rockets aryabhatta was the indian first satellite launched in 1975 second point chandrayaan 2 is an artificial satellite launched by gslv mi triple i mi from satish dhawan space center in sriharikota on 22nd july 2019 It's the India's second mission on the Earth, followed after Chandrayaan One. It comprises of an orbiter, lander, and rover. Third one, artificial satellite provides services in the areas of communication, broadcasting, meteorology, oceanography, and resources survey. Nowadays, we are using internet, mobile phones, and online services because of all these art artificial satellites. Okay, guys, just write it down each point. I know that there is no space in writing in your workbook, so it's better for you to take a note and write it down there. Okay. So let's move on to the next one, which is. Seventh one, draw latitudes and longitudes on the surface of the ball. Answer is, it's you have to done by yourself. That's why it's student activity. Next eighth one, why is the Earth the only planet which is only habited by human beings? Answer is, Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has a large water. That is seventy four percent of the surface of the surface and living conditions for human beings. Earth is called a blue planet because of its water. Since it is having water and living conditions, it is the only habitat by human beings. Okay, let's move on to the next one. That is assessment number eleven. Here, choose the correct answer. Is there? Just see. First one is the model of the Earth is dash globe A. Next second one, the Earth spins around its own imaginary axis is called dash. rotation which is b third one earth revolution takes about dash days answer is c which is 365 days okay let's move on to the next one which is fill in the blanks okay first one is the sun and all the objects that orbit around it is called solar system second one The straight imaginary lines on the globe are called dash longitudes. Third one, the latitudes that divides the globe into two equal parts is called equator. Okay. Now we'll move to the next Roman that is Roman number three, which is match the following types. Just see. So first one is artificial satellite. Answer is C, which is Chandrayaan. Second one. rotation answer is a 24 days third one revolution answer is b which is 365 days okay guys let's move on to the next one that is roman number 4 here you have to draw the solar system very neatly and color that entire solar system okay now we'll move to the next one which is question and answers this is the last part of this chapter okay so, so our question is define longitudes and latitudes answer is longitudes the imaginary lines drawn vertically on the globe are called longitudes latitudes the imaginary lines drawn horizontally on the globe are called latitudes okay guys i hope you all got the answers of this chapter chapter 11 okay please share it with your dear ones and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching